Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video, as you already probably know, is how I'm going to be making a steering wheel for a drifting simulator. Originally, I thought of making the steering wheel, paddles and shifter all in one video, but then it took me a bit long to make the steering wheel and so I decided to split it into three parts. And this is the first part, enjoy. I started the project by cutting out two pieces of wood that I will use for the base of the steering wheel. The piece of plywood is going to get clamped to the table, while the 2x4 will have the steering wheel attached to it. The steering wheel will rotate in two bearings. 3D printed mounts will attach those bearings to the piece of 2x4. I attached these 3D printed mounts to the 2x4 using two screws. In order to ensure that the bearings do not slide out, I used some rubber felt to go in between it and the 3D printed part. You might have noticed that these are linear bearings, and I know they're not the best choice, Adding some lubricant into the bearings will really help lube everything and it will help everything rotate smoothly. I will be using this steering wheel for my simulator. I will be using this circular piece of wood as well as some 3D printed parts to attach the steering wheel to the axle. The wood is going to be held to the steering wheel with some 5mm bolt and nuts. This 3D printed part is what the axle is going to get attached to. All the 3D printed parts that you see in this video are printed with my Prusa MK4. I am very thankful to have such an amazing 3D printer. I 3D printed this part out of PETG with a 50% infill. It turned out to be very sturdy. Attach this part to the steering wheel using five screws. The whole thing fit on the axle very nicely. A little later, I decided to hammer in some nails into the plastic part, just for extra strength. I 3D printed another piece that goes on the back. I actually found that just by inserting this rod into the steering wheel and then by tightening this bolt over here, it's not going to hold that well and, it, and the rod will still be able to turn inside. So I decided to cut a little thing in here uh, that this bolt will be able to fit in and that way it will be able to hold much better. So that's what we're going to do. This was my first time cutting metal with an angle grinder, and I was pretty surprised to see how neat the cuts were. I 3D printed another part to go on the axle. This part will be in charge of returning the steering wheel to its center position after I let go of it. The assembly went very smoothly. When you are inserting a rod into linear bearings, you have to be extremely careful with this process, as if you go too fast or you don't get it in straight, the rod could actually push out the balls that are inside the linear bearings. I have had this happen a few times in this project.
each rubber band is stretched from a screw in the plywood to the 3D printed part. When I let go of the steering wheel, it returns to its original position. This is the potentiometer that I will use to detect the position of the steering wheel. I'm going to need to solder some wires to the potentiometer. It took me a long time, as I don't have much practice soldering. In the end though, I was happy with my work. Next, I 3D printed two gears. One of them will go on the axle, and the other will get attached to the potentiometer. I'm going to need to attach the potentiometer to the whole thing somehow. So, I 3D printed a mount. First, I hammered in some guide nails, then I securely attached the mount to the plywood with four screws. In the end, everything seemed to work just fine. Okay, I am done making all the hardware for this project. I am going to do a quick explanation for how this is going to work. Over here, I have the steering wheel, of course, and it rotates in both directions. These rubber bands, they basically center the steering wheel after you let go. And I would add more rubber bands, but I just didn't, so yeah, it's just the way that it is. Uh, all these red parts are 3D printed. 3D printers are amazing, by the way. And uh, I have two gears over here, and the reason I have two gears is because these sensors, which are called potentiometers, they only typically spin 300 degrees around. But steering wheels typically go 900 degrees around. So I needed to make a 3 to 1 ratio of gears. But a 3 to 1 ratio of gears, it could be, for example, 20 gears to 60 gears, or it could be 1 gear to 3 gears, which isn't as good. But, instead, I made 19 gears to 60 gears. The reason I did 19 gears instead of 20 gears on this wheel is because when I turn the steering wheel all the way to one side, I do not want to be pushing the end of the potentiometer and maybe cause it to break. So, I have a little bit more. And that is the reason why I use 19 gears. I also made an adjustable screw over here so that when I want to align the steering wheel, I can simply loosen the screw, adjust this wheel to where I want it, and that way I could center it better. Uh, the whole thing spins on this 8mm axle, which goes inside two of these 8mm linear bearings. And they are linear bearings, and it's not the best choice, obviously, for this project, but that's what I'm going to use. And uh, all these components attach onto this axle using these, I'm pretty sure, like 5 millimeter bolts. And they just push, and then I basically tighten them, push them against the rod with little cutouts so that they stay in better. And that's what keeps them from rotating along the axle. And yeah, this is a basic explanation of how the steering wheel works. You might have noticed that I do not have any control boards on this. And there is a good reason. I originally was going to use the Arduino Uno R3, but then it turned out that it wasn't the best fit for this project. I'm not going to go in much detail, but it just wasn't. So instead, I purchased the Arduino Pro Micro, and uh, it still hasn't arrived yet, so I will add that on later. Okay, I installed my steering wheel onto the table, and it is finally time to test if it will work in the game. Okay, I think I am done setting up the steering wheel. I'm still going to use the keyboard for the throttle brakes and gear shifting, but the whole point is to see if the steering wheel works, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have my throttle and brakes. Then my steering wheel does not work. Okay, it's probably it's probably a problem in the game. The steering.
steering wheel finally works. As you can see when I'm turning the wheel, the car's wheel also turns and uh, I have my throttle. No, I don't. That's weird. Oh, my keyboard stopped working. Now it's the other way around. Okay, I'll have to figure this out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out why I couldn't use the steering wheel to steer, but still use the keyboard for the throttle brakes and gear shifting. It seems that in the game, you have to either pick between using a keyboard, custom controls, or like an Xbox controller or something like that. So it, it still might be possible, I just need to figure it out. But the steering wheel works, and we did see that today, so it's a success. Thanks to everyone who made it to the end of this video. As we saw a bit earlier, the steering wheel works, but I can't really use it in the game. I actually can use the steering wheel in the game, but it's a lot of work in the PC and I don't want to figure all that out. In the next video, I will be making the pedals. When those are going to be completed, I will actually be able to use the steering wheel along with the pedals to drift in the simulator, though the shifter is not going to be done yet and that will be in part 3.